you're smart and you've got some very important information for folks, especially folks dealing with saturated ground and worrying about mudslides. Right, exactly. We are going to have some more moisture on the way, so that is going to continue to be a concern. We're also going to see some thunderstorms possibly as well. Take a look at this photo. This was sent to us by Lane Beard. This was out of his house in Post Falls. He says, amazing. He got a picture of that lightning just at the right time. We do have the potential to see a little bit more lightning tonight as well. Taking a look at your forecast first for tonight, we do have an overnight low of 42 degrees. We have some moisture moving into the region this evening, and we have the potential to see some isolated thunderstorms as well. I'll let you know about those in just a second. Winds tonight out of the southeast, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, a high of 53 degrees. We're going to be showery in the morning and afternoon noon then we'll start drying out into the evening we're going to be cloudy tomorrow for the whole day the winds a little gustier tomorrow out of the southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour those gusts up to 25 miles an hour you can take a look at this moisture that's moving into the region right now it's not going to be hitting Spokane quite yet but we are seeing some showers up near Deer Park Colville a little uh uh, east of Moses Lake, Pullman and Moscow seeing a few isolated showers as well. Those going to continue into this evening. And as these showers move in, we also have some very unstable or a lot of instability in the atmosphere right now. That is what is going to lead to those thunderstorms. Those thunderstorms going to be in central Washington, southeastern Washington and the lower Idaho panhandle. If we do see those thunderstorms, they're going to be isolated. They're not going to last very long and they're going to be very weak. However, they do have the potential to bring some heavier rains, very infrequent lightning. We could see a few lightning strikes this evening, some gusty winds. Those winds will be a little stronger where we see those thunderstorms. We do have the possibility of seeing some small hail as well. Those thunderstorms are going to start clearing out of the region as the sun starts to set this evening. However, Okanagan County, they are expected to see some thunderstorms and those thunderstorms could last a little bit longer there. Taking a look at the 24 hour forecast, you can see this low pressure system moving that moisture into the region. However, we have this ridge of high pressure that will start pushing its way into Spokane as well. That is going to hit us tomorrow evening. That will push the moisture out of our region, and that is going to stay with us for the weekend. We will be dry this weekend. Taking a closer look at this forecast, you can see the moisture is going to start hitting us in Spokane about Thursday morning, very early in the morning. That will be there for the 7 a.m. hour. That is going to start pushing out tomorrow afternoon as well. Then we should be dry heading into the week and taking a look at the almanac. No moisture today and our temperatures, you can see they were right around average for our high and our low. Right now in Spokane, 60 degrees, winds out of the south, 10, to miles, 10 miles an hour. Coeur d'Alene, 60 degrees as well, winds out of the east to northeast, 6 miles an hour. Our lows tonight going to be a little chilly, 42 in Spokane Valley, 41 in Coeur d'Alene and tomorrow we're not going to be too warm as well. 55 degrees in Spokane Valley, 50 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, and 52 in Deer Park. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast, we do have that moisture tomorrow. That'll leave us tomorrow evening, though. Then we'll be dry heading into the weekend. Saturday going to be a beautiful day, our warmest day of the week, and should be pretty sunny. Then Sunday evening, we'll start to see a little bit of a change again. Some scattered showers roll back in, and those will stay with us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Our temperature is going to drop for the beginning of the work week as well, below our average. So get out and enjoy it this weekend while you can. I'll bet it's going to be a busy weekend around town. Mm -hmm.